in this video clip, I will be talking about maintenance of reciprocating saws. If you purchased your reciprocating saw new, it was lubricated before it left the factory in about two to six months, depending on how much you use it, you will want to take your tool into a service center and have them do a cleaning, inspection, and lubrication of it. This will really help prolong the life of your tool. When cleaning your tool, you want to make sure that you clean the trigger switch. Um, if you happen to be cutting any type of asphalt shingles, you can get that uh, tar in the trigger switch and that'll make it stick. Uh, so you want to make sure you keep that trigger switch free moving. In addition, you want to make sure to clean out the head of your reciprocating saw. As you use it, sawdust, debris, um, tar, any, any type of materials like that can get inside of it and it can cause it hard to put a blade in or it can make it drag when it's trying to move back and forth as you're cutting.